families. Thank you for our beautiful leadership, the strong dedication they bring to this agency, and for all that are seated here tonight, we are grateful. Amen. Yeah. So I just want to also thank you all for being gracious with us. So we were going to have one team gathering a couple weeks ago, and then our COVID rates were too high, and we're like, no, 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 we're going to go virtual. And then COVID rates was like one week really dropped down to low level, but we're like, yeah, we can have it. And then we we're going to have it at Mary's place, but unfortunately, Mary's place had a little bit of a break out of COVID. We had close to Mary's place for a whole week. That's why the staff can't be here either. Um, I know. So, but we are here at UCM. So, thank you, UCM, for hosting us very much. <laughs> You thank you to Trisha for putting us all together. Of course, our wonderful Catherine. So this it takes a little bit of a village to put us all together. So I appreciate you guys all so much. Okay, do we have any new staff in the room? So any um, supervisors that have any new staff in the room? Um, you know, okay. Uh, that, I mean, that, I mean, come on, I'm I'm not. Hi. What's up? And this is my name. My name. Oh, yes. And my neighbor and us about three weeks ago. Stand up, and she gets me so donor relations, Cliff. I'd like to introduce Cliff Yoder, who is our new donor relations manager. Okay, pardon me. Sorry, there's so many hands. So well, I'm excited to Zah will be here. We have our new intergenerational coordinator. That was in all holy grand funders. We're super excited to be with her and her people for that. And then we're going to put the story in the page. So I wanted to introduce Jasmine, our beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> 
Where's Kim? Oh, Kim, the tribe that we got our front desk. You didn't see Kim? Yeah. So what about volunteers? Um, if you're a volunteer, oh, okay. Okay, anybody else think that there needs to ask for that? Okay, so if you're a volunteer, you could please stand up and let us know where you volunteer because you are part of our workforce too. Thank you for so all of you. Any volunteers willing to stand up over the home services area, the home services area, this is one of the people at our all of our COVID clinics. Uh, so, <laughs> and where do you guys volunteer? <laughs> 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 I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, well, I'm starving to the doctor, picking up prescriptions, taking close to doctor's appointments, picking up new doctor's appointments. Oh, no. <laughs> Very Oh. And you're just standing by, are you volunteering too, or are you just standing by? I'm just standing by. Nancy, I'm a friend. Thank you, Bonnie. <laughs> so Nancy is our recent, one of our research members for care home services, and she was like, gonna be up, and she left, and she's back now with us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thinking about how we've had so many like employees and volunteers that have left, but then have come back. And we always talk about our retention rate. We want to make sure that we retain all of our wonderful volunteers and all of our employees. And I'm happy to say our employees, our retention rate is down to just 20%, which is amazing. Yay! You have to run the <laughs> Our fantastic, fantastic um, employees, we've started a retention bonus, a floating holiday, and we've got a retention committee ongoing right now. So be on the lookout for a survey from the retention committee about all these ideas that we've come up with. But it's fun for us to be like, oh, this idea is going to work. But it, we don't know. So we want you guys, if you see this survey, come out, fill out this survey. Because we want to know. We can't do everything, unfortunately, under the rainbow. We try. But we really want to be able to target and do um, <laughs> <laughs> what's meaningful for you guys. Okay? So be on the lookout for that. Um, I'm so happy to say with um, staffing, we are now at 113 people employed. I know. <laughs> 
shopping trips and people coming to the program you know kids in the program and whatnot so when we've got some really big growth so i wanted to report to you how we're doing so far <laughs> okay so 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 from january all the way to june we have already done a little over twenty-two thousand services wow. so we need to do some more for the fight so i do have more volunteers and more staff so we can serve more people and then the number of people that we serve we serve a little over four thousand people so we're halfway there so keep on spreading the word about better via all the services that we do we want to be able to help if you know somebody that wants to volunteer please bring them to fabric we will love them if you know somebody that wants to work, we need people in all of our programs. So please complete the rest of Okay. Any questions on that so far or anything? Okay. And then what's pretty amazing is um, we always want to make sure we're living within our needs, right? Just like we all do, but that's all we need to live within our needs. So we have been so blessed with all the wonderful grants and donations that Sarah's team has gotten in. Our programs are doing fantastic. And then today, or maybe it was yesterday we got it in mail, we just got our employee retention credit or employee Retention credit? Yeah. And that was like a COVID thing, like during COVID. And, and we applied for it at the beginning of this year because we qualified for just one quarter um, last year. And you know, with the government, you just never know <laughs> what, what to expect when it's going to come in. So we just got a check for about $450,000. <laughs> So, yeah, please, please, please spread the word. We want to be able to help as many people as we can in our community. All right, mine is pretty much this is Courtney Allen to talk about some sorry, And then, did you all get a benefit this so do I told you an hour ago that I was gonna come here and speak? Oh, oh, she was not. Not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so first off, um, um just yesterday I got the email from Car. I'm sure you've all heard about the wonderful car, but we officially have a three-year reaccreditation. Because we did, and we got zero recommendations. Oh my gosh! In 19 years, the BBS has been accredited and reaccredited. We have never gotten any no record, like no recommendation. Even to me, I'm two parts are there. And how many years have you been serving? Oh, like, I don't know, eight or nine now? And she had never done a survey with zero recommendation. And she was like, maybe we should get like one. She had something to work on. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to be celebrating and celebrating. So uh, there's a the party on Thursday here at Lucy for closing our day program at 3 o'clock. We're going to go out the fun. Uh, have some food and all of that. So let us know if you guys want to come. And then Jay and I and Richard will be working on um, a community party. Uh, we want the community to know what CARP is and the amazing things that we do and how great we are. So every one in this room, whether you're a volunteer or not, you have something to do with that foundation, whether you know it or not. So thank you guys so much. It's a huge tour. So great job. <laughs> Fitness. We love Benefit and they open July 11th and our first one's goal, which would have been August 11th, would be to have 10 members enrolled. So it is August 23rd and as of today, we have 35 members enrolled. <laughs> 
the school of the sea and many more to come. And um, the inquiries are crazy. We haven't even like hit the ground running on marketing. So thank you guys who have shared the information out there. The members are loving it. Uh, I'm going to use a that, but I'm going to use um, a story he told me like yesterday here at the back. And he said, oh my gosh, there was this member that I saw that started a gun and fitness when they first opened. And this probably took this member about 20 minutes to walk from my car over to Gun Fitness. He was, I saw them, that guy the other day, and it took him about five minutes. Oh, wow. so, that's only going to be a month. And he was saying he was talking to the wife, and she was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I just found you guys. So, they, I mean, Kim could tell us multiple stories, John can tell the stories, but. It makes such a huge difference in these members' lives. And some of you in the program, some of your members go there. And I know that you guys are doing great things. So if you haven't seen that event, please stop by just to see it. Um, and you can share the word out there. But we're super excited and we're way ahead of our goals, which is wonderful. Um, so thank you all for your support. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going to do our prime annual communal road. Um, you want me to read it or you want to read it? All right, so our first nominee is Jackie Tyson. Come on down. So the storm, she may have decided to go. Okay, so let me read you a little bit about Jackie. Jackie is amazing. She volunteers to Mary Place three times a week. She works with our members individually and visits with them, helps them with activities. She helps serve our members lunch and then cleans up the table. I love how she takes time to converse with the members and totally seems to enjoy getting to know each other better. She cares and shares her knowledge in a simple and calm way that benefits our members. It's rare that you will see her sitting down. She's very dedicated to volunteering. We're grateful to have Jackie at our program, and we rely on her assistance and feel she is very deserving of this award. Give her a round of applause. Uh, two volunteers together got nominated by me, but can you guess? Tom and Rhonda. <laughs> Why do I even do this? You are just amazing. Come on, guys. Let me just brag about you a little bit. I feel like we are ready to move right now. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so they are both volunteers for Red and Vita, helping with anything we need, hot or cold weather. And because of their knowledge and expertise, I would say they are true, essential working people. They helped me to get benefit where it is today. They both come in almost every day and work very long hours, and I could not have done this without them. Thank you, Tom and Rhonda. <laughs> So, you know those um, big trash cans of black looking <laughs> So from having the restaurant open for so long, like one of them got really... <laughs> How long did it take? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jay, like, like a little putty that like, oh, she just, she just she did a power grew with like, she was like, I don't know, I'm amazed. Oh, wow, really? Like, if you would do that, there's a lot of equipment. So how, how did the equipment come from? It was great. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> and so all of these women had to be together. And, you know, yeah, it was a huge job. So one more time, I had a little while to run a little Okay, Cheryl Denson, come on down. So, Cheryl started volunteering in 2017 uh, in transportation and business assistance through home services. And then on December 12, 2018, um, this is from Vivi. She was blessed to have you joining and assisting her in the life of this uh, Since that time, you have been faithful um, and volunteered two days a week for three hours each day. <laughs> she came to with an open attitude and willingness to help. 
She learned very quickly the tasks that were assigned to her. She was aware of what needed to be done and delved into the assignments for the day. And she truly appreciates your detail and organization skills. That's me because there's so much to organize in our life. Oh my gosh. She has shown her faithfulness to Benavia and has repeatedly told me how she enjoyed coming to the program. I can rely on her to be at the program to give the job. She has a big heart to serve her community. So are you guys ready for the week? Are we good? Well, but Cheryl is our winner. <laughs> Shelly, like Shelly um, But so Shelly, um, she was nominated by students and things that, and it says, I've had the fun here of working in Mary's place recently, and start and seeing firsthand how hard Shelly works. She handled the challenges of the day with such grace and caring. She can often be seen out on the activity floor, helping with lunch, meeting David Chronicles, dancing with the member, and much more. Despite ever changing needs and daily challenges, you never know walking into Mary's place, whatever, the, uh, walking into Mary's place, what's going on. So whatever the role is for the day, sure, uh, Shelly is still is ready to fill the need. Um, she leads her team in making Mary's place the place to be. Yeah. <laughs> And then our next nominee is Leslie Dillon. <laughs> Always puts our members of West Valley first, even if she's having a tough day, exhausted, or anything in between. She's always going above and beyond her duties with a smile on her face. I'm so proud to work alongside uh, such an amazing woman and employee. The members absolutely love her, and I want her to know just how much I appreciate her, how amazing she is, and I'm so thankful that she's part of all of Yeah. <laughs> Okay, our next nominee is Tina and I'm going to go Oh, 
Ready for this? All right. No. Okay. <laughs> Tina has been with us for almost five years and has significantly transformed our department when it comes to the data. There's a lot of data. <laughs> <laughs> Over the years, she has revamped her procedures and raised her set and streamlined many tasks. She's a true example of an honest, hard worker with so much integrity. She deserves a board award for all the time and endless reports, exports, claims, etc. And that is because of her, Betty may be on track with all of our small and major gifts and donations that come into the organization. She also helps us in many ways and uh, that do that many do not know about when it comes to retaining a donor and that relationship with them. Tina Cat is such a great colleague, friend, and vital asset to Benavia, and especially to our department. Thank you, Tina Cat. You have really made a difference in our department, and with all Benavia, we appreciate it. Okay, and then our next nominee is Carla. So Rochelle nominated you. You can see how this goes. You guys can nominate each other and say wonderful things and celebrate so, Michelle, I would like to nominate Carla to receive this recognition for going above and beyond um, the job title and always working for the betterment of the members. She's such a caring, kind, knowledgeable person and is always willing to. She enriches so many lives by just being herself. I really admire and look up to her um, and lead by her lead by example approach. I'm right. As I'm writing this, I can also say basically the same thing about Lisa. Olivia <laughs> <laughs> has so many wonderful staff members, but that idea could not be as successful without Carla. <laughs> That's my boss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm the only one alive here. Oh, my God. It work when they found out there was COVID. It wouldn't let me in. It wouldn't let me in. Oh, they got a week off. <laughs> 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 they could get things right. Everybody's shaking their heads. I'll talk to you <laughs> so, just like Darlene that's been here, we'll just say <laughs> we had a wonderful 10 year anniversary, and I don't know if I've seen her yet. Very come <laughs> So many lives have changed. You know? Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Great advocate for all of our kids and family. It is amazing. Okay, so we are going to do um, staff anniversary. Are we ready? Okay. Want me to have that? Or did you want me to read it from the sheet? Whichever you want, I can read it. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I know that. Eleven years. I, I tell Anthony this all the time. I said, "Do you know there was a time in our in our finance department that Mary was the only one?" Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! And then Monica, I didn't see Monica. Did Monica come in? Monica and Colin. So she is um manager over the department. <laughs> And John, nine years relief. Did you know what you got here? No. I didn't hear. Eight years. So, so we learned, you know, because when somebody like stays with us, and then they leave to go to another agency for like a year, and then they come back, they're like, "Well, no, I want to be all here." So, we have been eight years Thank <laughs> you. 
So this next one is a ten dollar subway gift card. Eight five six. Okay, uh, 85, 
like the December 5th, and we're going to do it for our wedding again. So it'll be a great time. We've got a theme going on and everything, so it'll be fun to look out for that. Okay? All right. <laughs> And if we can make sure to look at what's going on.